In this video, we're going to find the mean, median, and mode from a frequency table. So Melissa surveyed the girls in her fourth grade class and asked them their height rounded to the nearest inch. The frequency table below shows the number of girls who indicated each height in inches. Determine the mean, median, and mode height of the girls. So this is what we're going to find in green. So let's look at the frequency table and try to gain an understanding of it. So here we have the height in inches. And the frequency tells us how many of the girls were that corresponding height. Okay. So frequency tables are useful because a lot of times you don't want to list all of the values. So if we were to list all of these values, this isn't too bad, but it wouldn't be fun. Uh, there'd be 152, there'd be 256s, 357s, and we'll just put etc. Okay, so this is the number of values we have in total. Now, notice if we were going to find this average of this list, we'd add up all the numbers divide by the number of numbers, the num or the total frequency, and that would give us the mean. So we're going to do this in a more efficient way, rather than listing all of these out and adding up all these numbers. What we're going to do is multiply these two columns. So let's call this the product and make a new column. So the idea is there's 152 inches, so 52 times 1 is 52. If we were add up, to add up these 256s, that would be 112. Uh, we'll just keep the calculator on hand for when we need it. Okay. Another way to find 56 added to itself twice is 56 times 2. So that's 112. Here we have 357s. If we added these all together, that's equivalent to finding 3 times 57. Just 171. Now we have 558s, which is 290. 359s, which is 177. 360s, I'll do that one in my head, that's 180. And notice there's one of each of these values, so we can just list them all one since their product is themselves. Okay, so these are all of our products, and now if we sum them up, that's the total sum of all the values in the chart. So we're going to put that down here. Okay, and most importantly, you want to be careful here too. You want to write these down, you want to make sure. Notice I'm making a new column. I'm trying to keep all of this information organized because if you lose one, then your answer will be incorrect. So 52 plus 112 plus 171 plus 290 plus 177 plus 180 plus 62 plus plus 64. And before I hit equals, I'm just going to check these numbers because it's not hard to do this, but it's very easy to punch in a wrong number. I would even suggest on an exam that you do this process twice to make sure that your answers match. So we have 52, 112, 171, 290, 177, 180, 62, 63, 64. So that's entered correctly. And we have our total is 1,171. Okay, so that's the sum of all the values. So we need sum of values and we need to divide that by the number of values. Okay. Well notice the frequencies, if we added up or found the number that are 52, 56, 57, there's 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's 6. Notice that's the sum of the first three frequencies. So the total number of data points is just the sum of all these frequencies. 
Okay, so we're not going to use the calculator. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus another 6 is 17, 18, 19, 20. And now we have 1,171 divided by 20, and that value will be our mean. So we'll divide that by 20. And it didn't tell us where to round, and that terminates after two decimal points, so I'm going to put this exact value, 58.55. and that was measured in inches. Okay. So now let's look at finding the median. So the mean is the most task intensive. Okay. So we know the median is the middle value. Okay. And something nice about these frequency charts is notice that these are arranged in order. And we do that intentionally uh, so we can make sense of the data more easily. And we also know that there's 20 values. Okay. So the idea being, if it's 20 values, I can divide 20 by 2. Okay. There'll be 10 on each side of the median. Okay. And what we end up doing is we take, so this would be 1 through 10. This would be 11 through 20. And the median would be the average of the 10th and 11th. So we'll add the 10th and 11th and divide by 2. Okay. Or basically you could think of this as we're taking 20, we divide by 2. That's the 10th value. When this is a integer or whole number, we take this value plus the next one, the 10th and the 11th, and we divide by 2. So how are we going to find the 10th and 11th numbers. Well, let's write the cumulative amount here. So here we have 1. 1 and 2, this is 3. 3 and 3 is we have 6 numbers. And 6 and 5, we have 11 numbers. So there are 11 numbers in total up to here. Okay. So the 10th and 11th numbers are going to be here. So think of this. This last one is 6. 58 is going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. We have five numbers that are 58 inches, and this is where they are in the ordered list. So our 10th and 11th numbers are exactly the same, so that actually makes it easy to average. The average of two identical numbers is itself. Okay, so the median is 58 inches. Now the mode is the absolute easiest one to find from a frequency table. Okay, so the mode is the most frequent value. Let's write that, most frequent. Okay. Now since we're given a column of frequencies, whichever value is highest, or values we can have more than one mode, is going to be our mode. And notice the highest value we have is five values, and that corresponds to 58. Okay. Something to be careful of, some, sometimes people see the repeated numbers in the frequency table and they think, oh, that's our mode because that number is occurring most often. Okay. But these don't represent the data points, these represent the number of data points. Okay. So three is not the mode, or actually the most would be one. One is not the mode, one's not even a value for the height in inches, thank God. Okay, so the most frequent, look at the last row of the, t the frequency table, find the largest number, and it corresponds to 58 inches. Okay, so our mean is 58.55, and both our median and mode are 58 inches.